Thank you for inviting me to provide a short message to you all on what I know was supposed to be the NUS, Scotland's Student Mental Health Conference. It's a shame that once again we need to make use of technology instead of engaging and meeting with each other in person. However, I'm glad that we can still all learn, engage and discuss important issues from wherever we are in Scotland. As the Minister for Further Education, Higher Education and Science said in his parliamentary statement in September, we know that going to university and college is an exciting time, with many leaving home for the first time to make lifelong friends, learn new things and grow in confidence. However, this year is different and challenging because we're in the middle of a global pandemic that has radically altered every aspect of our lives. We know that this has and will continue to have an impact on students' mental health and wellbeing across the country, which is why we have recently published a mental health transition and recovery plan entitled Mental Health, Scotland's Transition and Recovery. This plan lays out key areas of mental health need that have arisen as a result of COVID-19 and lockdown and the actions that we will take to respond to that need. This includes the mental health needs of students. And the plan specifically outlines how we will continue to ensure that university and college students have access to the right mental health support. And this includes building on our existing investments, such as our commitment to provide 80 additional counsellors in colleges and universities. We recently announced over £3.5 million to further support this commitment. At the beginning of the pandemic, we invested significantly in a comprehensive package of support for mental health and wellbeing. And that support is also available to students should they need it. That support includes the expansion of the NHS 24 Mental Health Hub, which is now available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We've also expanded the capacity of the Breathing Space Telephone Helpline and Web Support Service. In addition, we've also extended our support to the NUS Think Positive project to, amongst other things, progress the development of student mental health agreements and continue to support the small grant scheme. I would encourage anyone who thinks they need additional support for their mental health to speak to friends or to family about how they're feeling or to seek out further support online or by telephone. It's now more important than ever to speak openly about how we're feeling and seek support when we need it. Thank you again for inviting me to say a few words to open this conference. I hope that you all have an enjoyable and informative day.